Hello everyone here you are listening uh, Dr. Bhim Kumar and today I am going to discuss about the mineral this is the second series of the soil science and uh, first of all I will explain the what is the minerals rocks minerals actually the rock minerals is a naturally occurring uh, substances with definite chemical composition and physical features actually in the last video I have explained you the what is the rocks actually the rocks if you see here the rocks is actually is the mixture of the minerals while minerals is having the definite chemical composition and physical feature it means rocks is not having a definite chemical composition and if you see that the silic silicon and oxygen this is constituting about 75 percent of the your earth crust so this was the some uh, facts about the rocks minerals and uh, on the basis of that uh, i'm going to discuss more about the what are the most important uh, rocks minerals that uh, that is the first is your quartz actually quartz is the having the silicon silicon ox uh, silicon uh, oxygen dioxide and this is actually the chief constituent of your sandy fraction of the soil and uh, if you see that it is a mainly composed uh, uh, quartz is mainly the abundance in the your acid uh, rocks and uh, granite is the one of the best example where you will find the pure form of this uh, silica under the moderate rainfall if you see that the uh, acid rocks that will give your sandy type of the soil and uh, basic uh, rocks will give you the clay type of the soil so these are the some uh, uh, facts under the when the rainfall will be moderate so the soil will form like this and uh, if you see the second most important minerals is your uh, feldspar actually the feldspar is the having the composition of the uh, potassium aluminum silicon and oxide oxygen and uh, if you see the fact about the feldspar feldspar is the 48% uh, composing the uh, part of the your earth crust and uh, actually this is also the two two type uh, and grouped in, th uh, in the two type like the first is your uh, orthoclase feldspar and second is your plagioclase feldspar if you see the orthoclase feldspar actually orthoclase feldspar is your potash feldspar potash is the means chief constituent under this uh, orthoclase feldspar and uh, but in the case of plagioclase feldspar here you will find that the uh, main component are albite soda and soda feldspar and anorthite or lime feldspar and uh, for, uh, potash feldspar is uh, mainly is the part of your acid igneous rocks while this uh, plagioclase feldspar is the uh, part of their basic uh, igneous rocks and uh, lime it is also lime soda feldspar uh, because here i have already explained you this is also called your lime feldspar and uh, if you see the third most important mineral that is your mica and mica is also having potash aluminium and silicon in, in, in this compositions and actually this is also two type one is the potash mica other is your magnesium mica and potash mica if you see that is called your muscovite mica and it is actually white in color and uh, if you see the pictorial form of this then it is clear and transparent in nature and your magnesium mica is is also called your uh, biotite mica and uh, it resembles uh, like the muscovite mica but uh, differences is on the basis of color you can see that in the it is a black in color so these are the very clear cut difference between the potash mica and magnesium mica and uh, white mica actually is the more resistant to the weathering than the black mica and uh, this was the some about and the, if you see the earth composition the earth is uh, crust is composed of these three minerals in this proportion like feldspar is a 48 percent quartz is 36 percent and mica is 10 percent so these were the some facts regarding this minerals so again i'm moving uh, on the basis uh, minerals type so minerals actually is the two type primary minerals and your secondary minerals and actually the primary minerals if you see that is a form uh, during the original crystallization of the hot igneous primary rocks okay and it includes essential minerals but in the case of uh, secondary minerals here you will see that the crystallization that will happen during the weathering of primary minerals and that's why it's called your secondary minerals means after this uh, formation of primary mineral there will be again will be the crystallization during the weathering process then secondary minerals will form an example if you see it in the primary minerals these are the quartz, feldspar, plagioclase, muscovite, biotite, amphiboles, pyroxone, alpine. But in the case of secondary minerals, you can see here the examples are geothite, hematite, gypsite, clay, minerals, dolomite, calcite, gypsum. These are the essential minerals and this is not essential minerals because mostly the, the, here this, uh, this is explaining that 
it include the essential minerals and the second uh, differences is primary minerals mainly dominate in the coarser fraction of the soil that is your sandy uh, sand gravel and stone while your secondary minerals will mainly dominate in your clay type of the final final fraction of the soil and if you see that actually the primary minerals are uh, defined as a mineral those are found in soil but not formed in soil because i have already explained you that uh, secondary minerals form when the primary minerals already form so here this is st statement is also saying that the primary minerals, minerals are found as a uh, in soil but not formed in the soil because weathering not uh, weathering uh, the primary minerals not form as by the weathering process it formed by the crystallization of the hot igneous primary rocks and other is the fact other fact is that whether the mineral is primary or secondary depends on the mode of formation not on the mineral composition what this statement want to con convey that we are naming this primary or secondary minerals on the basis of the mode of formation how they form because th they are not differ on the basis of chemical composition they may be having the uh, same composition but only difference is on the basis of their mode of formation so this was so uh, again with the uh, uh, minerals you can uh, classify it on the basis of resistance of weathering how they are weathering so most resistant uh, minerals is your quartz and more resistant is your muscovite and moderate moderate resistant and slowly weathered minerals you will be your feldspar biotite and very least resistant means those are those can be easily weathered is are your augite hornblende olbine calcite and on the basis of the silicon composition again there is a classification of these minerals like your uh, uh, it's a uh, rocks is like acid rocks and intermediate rocks and basic rocks here you can say the silica composition in this acid rocks will be about 65 to 70 percent while in the example is your sandstone granite genesis rhyolite pegmatite so other is your intermediate this will having the 55 to 65 percent silica content and the example is your diorite cyanite and acite and basic rocks will be having your 40 40 40 to 40 uh, 55 percent silica an example is your like limestone basalt diabash and gabbro these were the actually the rocks uh, on the basis of uh, presence of the magnitude of the silica content so this this is mainly three type acid intermediate and basic rocks so i think you understand what the rocks minerals how the uh, minerals form and how they are named like that and i hope you enjoyed to this video if you enjoyed then you can like my uh, this video and share too for your the friend on your facebook and twitter and for more related to this video and agriculture update you can also like my facebook page dr vipin kumar and you can also follow me on my twitter agro vipin iri and till now thank you very much for watching